I received several Atmos from fellow uh, lids uh, that kept losing their uh, vacuum. And later I was told that uh, basically it's you're not supposed to store coffee in these uh, storage units more than um, a week, five days, five to seven days. So I decided the ones that weren't working properly, I decided to take them apart and see how they were built and see if I could do anything to fix them. First of all, short of this, if you don't want to re listen to any more, you can't. These are not made to be taken apart and worked on or repaired. They snap together, and once they all snap together, it's impossible to get them apart without really destroying them. So I basically destroyed three of the units, and I'm going to show you um, what they look like on the inside. This is first is a lid for the Atmos um, that is intact. And uh, this part is, you can take off, and you should take it off and uh, replace it on occasion. There's a rubber gasket here on the top, and then there's this little uh, metal mesh uh, that protects the filter. And then here's a paper or uh, maybe polyester uh, filter that you need to change on occasion. So that's basically as far apart as you can get it, and that's the only things that are interchangeable that's repairable on these that you can actually replace it yourself. Um, just uh, if you all remember right, um, you, this is the movement that uh, creates a vacuum. Uh, when there's a vacuum, there's going to be a little green dot that shows here. I'll show you where that is. And then this is where you push to release uh, the vacuum. But otherwise, that's really uh, all there is to the lid. Uh, so to get the lid uh, apart, I have tried uh, screwdrivers, everything to try to get them apart. I end up sawing one apart. And so uh, when you get off the top, you'll notice that um, there is, uh, this is one that's totally intact on the inside. I just took off the lid, basically. Um, this part, there's this little a metal part here that moves back and forth. It's created uh, on the uh, piston here that's got an O-ring on it. I'll show you in just a second. But it fits onto uh, a little plastic uh ring retainer here and so that's what moves this up, uh, in and out so I was doing this this is taking making a vacuum in it and to show you kind of what it's like this is, I'll pull the piston out there's this little plastic piston here with an o-ring on it and that's what creates the vacuum it fits stays inside of here and goes back and forth uh, so that's really that's that part uh, Coming, going down a little further here and taking things apart a little bit further, uh, I cut this one off also. Um, I took, uh, and uh, I was a little bit more destructive when I did this one. Uh, I was, this is actually the first one I was working on. I was trying to pry this off, but it does not come off. These, this, uh, this thing just snaps, um, snaps into here, and there's no way to get it off that I can see. Inside, um, there's a little, this is the button that you're going to push here, and I'll show you that part here in just a second. Um, but you can see you just can't take take this off like you thought you could, like I thought I could. Uh, but what I did is cut the bottom half of this one in half, um, and so you can see it's all in parts. I actually have some more parts over here uh, for this one, which I will show you what they uh, what they do. Um, and so I cut the bottom half off and I was able to get the O-ring off, but you can, it's, it doesn't, uh, it, this will just will not pop off, I see. And cutting, I cut the whole thing in half is when I, uh, uh, brought the whole, when I cut the whole thing. Um, and so these are the two halves. Uh, this is the part of the metal part that, uh, works on. This is the uh, plastic piston, and there is an O-ring, uh, which I don't, I seem to have lost here, that is missing, and this piston fits inside of here with the O-ring, and that's what creates the vacuum. So this is the full part. It's sealed on the other end, and then it fits down on top of uh, this keyhole right here, uh, there's a keyhole back here, and that's where it uh, pulls the vacuum out. 
So that's a pretty simple part. Um, when you uh, energize or when you create the vacuum, um, this part gets, there's a little plastic part or a little rubber part here that just slips on uh, a little peg right here and it slips on this little peg and inside here it's it just it's green if you can see that it's green on the inside and so when this gets pulled down this little rubber piece here gets pulled down it shows the green part so that shows that there is a vacuum okay so we got those two parts out of the way um, and then to release uh, there's this little uh, rubber piece here that fits over the center and so when you push down on the button here uh, it push down on the button right here it opens up this little plastic this little uh, rubber piece here and lets the air out so that's what that part is it has a spring that obviously that pushes it up and down so that's where the button goes up and down uh, there is a little uh, retaining ring that fits around this to hold it. Like I said, they all snap together, and uh, you really there's not much you can take apart. Um, that's really the, the workings of it. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, and uh, I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much.